lift her. Jesus name. Jesus name. Bring her here. Come on. Come on. Jesus name. Jesus my name. Bring it for the last time. Jesus is setting you free. Amen. I say, Jesus is setting you free. For the last time. This time is for her mom. Bring her. This time is for mama. Jesus. That was for mama. That was for her mom. Lift her up. Sister, the, the prayer I, I offered you, it was for your mom. Thank you. Thank you, you Prophet. Know, because I'm, I'm really worried. Uh, if anything happens to mama, this family will be more divided. You hear me? Yes. You know, because yes, I'm perfect. talking about the issues of the property of the old man. So the land issues. Mama must have life until everything is resolved. So she's healed now. Thank you, Prophet. In Jesus' name. <laughs> You're free, sir. You're free. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Jesus. I'm afraid of losing it. Yes, too much. You know, she had a big operation. As I'm saying, you're afraid of losing this woman. Yes, sir. Yeah, because she's, what happened there when they were operating is the grace of oh, God that woke wow, her up. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. What's wrong? She was operated. So, your wife is that side. I say, where's your wife? She's healed. This is my father. That's what I said. Thank Come you. Mama. Let, let's restart the prophecy. You know, let, go back. I want to restart the prophecy. I came like this. I said, where's your wife? Uh, she's healed. You said, Thank you. That's a calm. Uh, because sometimes people, they don't believe there's God working, isn't it? Huh? Some, sometimes people, they don't believe that there's God working. So today your wife is healed, sir. This operation, I want Thank to you. tell you again, is God who woke you up. I know. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Can I tell you something, you people? The power of life is from God. Because you see, when you sleep, do you know what happens? Huh? Eh? You are literally dead. And what wakes you up? In the spirit of God. I'm telling you. And with what has happened to you, is God that woke you up. Say, wake Jesus. up. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So today I want to tell you, Thank you there will be peace. Thank you, Jesus. And no more pain. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Your operation be healed now. Your operation be healed in the name of Jesus. She's free. Let's clap hands for Jesus.
everyone, my name is Manjla Magungu. Uh, this is my wife, Sbongile. The prophet touched me and she, he asked me, where is your wife? Then I pointed uh, to the direction where my wife is and uh, he said, call your wife. And my wife came and he said to me, I'm afraid of losing my wife uh, out of this operation. I said, yes. So my wife had an operation a major operation. There's so many pastors that prayed for me and for her as well. So now they they are actually confirming the the the, the operation that happened to her. Hi everyone, my name is Bongile Makungo. This is my husband. Uh, what Prophet said today is true. I had a major operation in 2022. I've been in ICU uh, I was helped by the, uh, the, the machines to breathe and I believe I'm still alive today, it's only by God's power. As even my, my doctor confirmed that if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be alive today. So this is a true confirmation today that I'm, I'm living because of God's work. So many people have been praying for me, I believe that I'm, I'm living a second life through God's power. Thank you so much. Yes, because I, I couldn't carry heavy stuff and then some chores in the house that I used to do, I couldn't do them anymore. But I believe as from today, I am free. I would go back to normal life as I was before. Words of encouragement. People, they must believe in God because I've been believing that God will rescue my wife as much as I've asked so many people to pray for me. Uh, now for coming here. I just want to encourage everyone that you must believe in God. God is real. Make the impossible possible because the way she was, really, if it was not for God, well, she wouldn't be standing here today. After I've been touched by the prophet, I've felt some movement in my tummy and there was a numbness when I came in here of which I didn't have. I think this healing started immediately as I entered the door. It, it immediately started because I had this sharp pain here. Now after he touched me, there was another movement in my abdominal parts. So I believe I'm really healed. There's power in this place, I believe. God is using, really, is really using the prophet. I've been watching over the TV, but now I'm so amazed. I've never seen such a accurate prophecy. life to start to make a meaning. Thank you, sir. Because you are regretting a lot. That's true. You're on the other side, nothing is working. True that. Today, after I pray for you, your things will work. But what I was seeing, I was seeing children, children, children. I said, ah, why children everywhere? So now, everyone must come from somewhere. We also come from somewhere. You hear me? So now it's your turn now to fix your life. And you'll see what God will do. You Amen. Hear me? Amen. You'll see what Jesus will do. I'm not happy with ch child here, child here, child here. And some of them, they don't want you to even see these children. So please, because there's fights, fights. Issue of supporting children. So I'm praying that God must heal your heart and forgive yourself. You hear Amen. Me? Amen. You give yourself, you'll see everything will open up. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Kim Gomezulu from Gom Shabelingan. Kazadan, deep Kazadan, or far north of Kazadan. So the prophet told me about the issue of having kids, like in different parents, and yeah, that is true. I do have uh, three kids in different parents, and I'm not with them. Uh, I don't live with the kids. 
like it takes time sometimes to see them. That is because of uh, financially, I'm not stable at the moment. My business was uh, distracted. I love my kids and that's one thing for sure. I was actually happy last week. I was with one of them, the elder one. We, we, we went out and I wish I was just with them the whole time, you know. Uh, I believe we would have been able to do it, but unfortunately, again, that's not my case. And uh, I don't know what's going on, what's happening in their lives. And at the end of the day, I will regret that I was not in their lives. And yeah, honestly speaking, <laughs> this is an issue, but I, I don't think it will be an issue if I still had a house. Because I would know that uh, I would be able to take my kids to be with me. But at the moment, I'm struggling, like honestly. So it's not easy to actually say I'm happy that he spotted the problem if there wouldn't be a, a solution. But he prayed for me. I believe uh, sooner enough uh, I will be working. I, I'm a self-employed person, by the way. So if I get in a project, my first goal is to buy a house so that I can collect my kids. The young people who still don't have kids, uh, don't rush into making kids. If you are not married, stay like that. Because it is really hard to see your child suffering. Uh, it's hard to, to have kids that you, you don't have access to, if I can put it that way. Kids that you cannot tell what to do. You cannot teach them anything because you are not with them. It's really hard. That's my... But to those with the kids, who already have uh, the same issue that I have, I would say, guys, let's reach out to our kids. Now, let's let's do something about it. You know, it, it's about love. It's not about money. Like what I did last week, I'm, I'm proud of it. I didn't have much, but I, I managed to take out my child, spend time with her, get to know her, and all that. So, yeah. This line, the way it's going. I love this man. This line, the way it's going. Where is it? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Why the spirit is coming to eat these things at night? Huh? So the spirit is coming to eat, eat. It's like it's feeding from what you are receiving. Jesus name. Jesus my name. I remove you. I remove you. I remove you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Wearing a t-shirt. Say, so, I want to pray for you. You can stop there. I want to pray for you. Uh, you are suffering in your body. Yes. Today, today I want Jesus to set you free. Amen. You hear me? I hear you, Someone sir. has taken your life and put it inside something. That's why now there's these things yes. moving everywhere. I have a trouble in my body mm, each and every time the left moving. side. Yes. These are like worms. Yes. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. Out. Oh, you demon. The name of Jesus. <coughs> Put a mic there. Come out. Mm. Out, you demon. Uh. Come out. Leave him. <coughs> Leave him. <coughs> Leave him, you dirty spirit. Come on. <coughs> out. So you, you, 
This one, yeah. you have got something here. Yeah. It is coming to your private part. Huh? Where is your wife? Come here, mama. Your husband, they've put something here. Did he tell you about it? No, but... Why, why didn't he tell you, your he's, wife? He is always complaining about this. There's part. something here which is affecting him as a man. No, she knows that. Huh? She knows it. You say what? She knows it, but not knowing what is exactly, but I'm always mm, suffering. Yes, this, yeah. this thing is making you suffer. Okay. Come here. Today, Jesus will deliver you. Yeah. I can't hear you. Amen. Yeah. Touch your son. Let me touch your wife first. Come, Mama. Let me touch you first. In the name of Jesus. Push him. Come. Put your hands here. Push him. You're free, sir. You're free. Where are your children, Mama? Huh? She's at home in Where's your girl? She's in Eastern Cape. Come here. With who? Uh, with my father. Mm. Today I want to pray for you. I want to release you from this stagnancy. You hear me? I can't see. You've been in a stagnancy for a long time. But today I believe Jesus is setting you free. Amen. I pray for this girl. And I'm also praying that she must not go through what you went through. Amen. You know, because you always pray that God, my child must not go through the yes, same route. It's true. You know, so I believe today Jesus will deliver you. Thank you. You didn't lose a child? Oh? I did. Because I see another child when I'm praying for you. Yeah, it, it was an ectopic. Mm. Mm. I, I see another child when I'm praying for you. And today you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When, when, sister, when, when did you lose it, this child? When did you lose the child? Um, it was 2000. When I touch you, I'm seeing another child besides this girl. Uh -huh. The child has passed on. You're free. You're free. You're free. Yes. When I pray for this brother, lift him up. I was hearing something, Mukundi. I don't know who's that. Stand up, brother. Who's Mukundi? Mukundi is my older sister. Mukundi? Yes. Huh? It's my older sister. Because when I touch you, I'm hearing Mukundi. Uh, tell Mukundi there's a better job that is coming. Hallelujah. Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Angwane Musa. And uh, the prophecy that I received was regarding my 
older sister. Uh, the prophet told me that uh, my uh, who's Mukundi. Uh, the prophet asked me who Mukundi was. I said Mukundi is my older sister, and uh, he said to me that uh, uh, she's going to get a, a better job, and I confirmed that to be true. Uh, her husband's contract just ex uh, expired this year and she had been uh, talking about uh, getting a better job and uh, I, I the prophecy to be true. Uh, the prophecy I remember two weeks ago I invited her to the church because she had a few problems and uh, by the grace of God she agreed uh, we went and uh, we saw the man of God and uh, she received a prophecy about the job. So my word of encouragement to people is that uh, um, God is faithful and uh, he says he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. My wife is here, she will help me. Bring her here. Where's your wife, sir? Where's your wife? No, she's, my girlfriend is home in Venda. Mm, you need to marry. Yeah, I will. You hear me? Yeah, I will. You need to marry. I will marry her. Uh, Saturn is delaying you. Yeah, I know, for a long time. And I saw the, also the purchase of a house. You know? God is going to give you a house. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' Which you have been praying for. Amen. I receive it I believe it it's coming. Amen. My name is Isaac Mashapu. I'm from Centurion. The prophet located me, uh, asking me about where is your wife. Then I told him that, okay, my woman, actually, it's not, I'm not yet married. She's in Venda. She say I must marry now. I've been delayed for a long time. So that I can confirm that is true. I've been, you know, asking myself why my life is like this. I've been like uh, praying for a while for a long time. So it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do now, so soon. As soon as I get money, I'll marry her. And she, he also, a pastor, a prophet said to me that like, he see myself buying a house, something that I've been praying for as well. It's a confirmation that like really I'm praying for a house. Then yeah, he professor I say that like he see myself buying a house, something that I've been trusting God for for a long time. Come to Charis Missionary Church, your life will be will never be the same again. Within like I've been here for almost a year, but I've got you know numerous testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, out. You must pray for your brothers. You hear me? Amen. Alcohol has taken over. Amen. And this is not what they used to do before. That's true. So now I'm praying that God must use you to save the family. Thank you. I'm seeing the way they are living. This, they are like drunkards now. That's true. So you must pray for them. You Thank hear me? Thank you. Pray for them. You're free. My name is George Madibana. I stay in Crystal Park, Benoni. Mm, the prophet, when the prophet spoke to me today, what he, he mentioned about he mentioned the issue of alcohol, it, which is which was true. Uh, my brothers are affected by alcohol; they're drinking, um, and I cannot say too much because I, I I've never seen them drink, but. I know they are drinking, so it's it, it's one of the issues that sometimes they disturb me when I see them taking that route. It has affected us very bad, very bad, but uh, we never really had a chance to, to, to sit down and talk about it and pray for it that it must end, but it's something that it step at, at some point when we with, when I, when I see them and I see that even the, the the progress has it's not it's not it's not like before. Hence the pastor said, the way they are living, 
It's not how they used to live because they were fully Christians and now it's something that is new and I don't know. I, I don't know what, what, what we can do to stop it. I've, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling, I feel relieved. I feel blessed. I feel, I, and I believe that from today it, it will, something will change in their, in their, in their mind and and especially with this issue of alcohol, I think maybe, I think, I, and I believe that uh, from today they will, they will they will change how they li how they live their lifestyle. I would like to encourage people to come and visit this church because even myself, I it's it's almost a year now I, I haven't been to this church, but when I first first twenty minutes that I arrive. The pastor managed to allocate me. That is, that really touches me. That God is still alive in this church. Pray not to lose your job. You hear me? Yes. Pray you must not lose your job. Okay. Because I'm seeing a very strong spirit coming against you. Amen. I believe God will fight for you. <laughs> You're free. Yes. Eh? They prayed for you. T tell me, uh, they prayed for me. Bring him. Mister. Hey, one, man, one, young one. The spirit. Huh? The spirit of asthma, sister. Hmm? Are you? Are you? Are you? In Jesus' name. Jesus, my tenant. Today, Jesus will set you free. Yeah. I say, Jesus is setting you free. Yeah. And after we pray for you, you will live your life by force. Yeah. You know, those that have stolen your life, they are about to return it. Yeah. By fire, by force. Yeah. Mama, you must take over. Take over. Take over, Mama. Leave this leg, man, you demon. Leave it. Leave this leg. Leave this leg. Huh? I can't hear you. She resend the application again. And they are going to call you. She already received the job. You know what she wants to bring? I say she, she has already received the job. Leave it. They are going to call you. Huh? They are going to call her. She is going to take over that clinic. I can you pray for her. They must call her as yes. soon as yes, tomorrow. They are going to call her. Yes. You people, you must receive millions in the name of Jesus. Huh? Receive millions in the name of Jesus. How, how many of you want to be millionaires? You, what are you going to do with the money? Oh my God. Leave him, leave him. What, what are you going to do with this money? Ask your neighbor, what are you going to do with it? It won't control you, right? Hey, Orlena. The minute you receive money, you don't know church again. Mama, if you receive money, you see now you've got a problem of feet. Huh? You've got a problem of feet, isn't it? Yes. 
Huh? Yes. So now, after you receive money, you will be shocked even this fee to... <laughs> Even this feet will be healed same time. You are coming here for the first time? Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'm coming from KZN. You're coming from KZN? Yes. So how can an ugly man like me just say you've got a problem of feet? So after you receive what God wants to give you, everything about you, let me tell you, a blessing from God heals. My name is Bonisi Lewanda. I'm from KZN. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm coming here for the first time in Cherries. So I'm glad God helped me. Uh, the prophet said I have a problem with my feet, which is true. I do have a problem with my feet, even at work. I do have a problem. So I'm happy that God has, allocated, has located me. I'm happy and I know God is going to increase me. God is going to uh, prosper me. I'm going to have a prosperous life since I came here. Thank you. These legs have been affecting me at work. I can't stand for long hours so I cannot do my work properly. But now, I believe God. I'm already healed right now. I cannot feel any pain. I cannot feel any pain anymore. So I'm very glad. I thank God. I thank God for cherries. And I, I can encourage other people to come because God is here. God is working miracles here. Feeling relieved. I'm happy. I'm happy. I... I feel, I feel relieved, and I cannot feel my pain anymore. Brother, touch here, this side. Yes. Come on, come on. Lift him up. Come on. Bring him. You must continue to do business. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Continue doing business. But it's not working, Prophet. I will continue. Do I know you? No, Prophet. Huh? No. So do I know you? No, Prophet, you Am don't. I'm not seeing you for the first time. It's for the first time, so Prophet. How can I just come to you and say, continue doing business? You are a Prophet. So now. I'm not a prophet, I'm a child of God. Amen. I want to tell you, if someone comes to you and say, continue doing this when he does not know you, he's telling you that now you have met God. Amen. You know, when Amen. Saul was looking for the donkeys, what happened? What happened? The prophet said, don't look for them again because they have been found. Amen. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know this man. I say, continue doing business. Because now a breakthrough has come. Amen. Amen. I, I, Calvary I greetings. My name is Rea Lebuchalisiani from the Northwest in Rustenburg. And I met the prophet this evening and he prayed for me. In fact, before he prayed for me, what he said to me was that, brother, continue doing business. I confirmed that to be true because... I was actually getting disheartened and I, I am in business. I was getting disheartened. A lot of discouragements were coming in because it was very tough. And by reason of the prophetic word that was given by the prophet of God, I, I am now much more encouraged and empowered to go and continue in business. I'd like to encourage our fellow brothers and sisters uh, that whatever it is that you may be going through, and this is also according to the word that the apostle gave to us this this day, he said that whatever it is that you're going through, it is for your own maturity. It is God taking you through 
and to maturity. So continue throughout whatever it is that is going on in your life and surely you will see a breakthrough. to receive a house. Lift him up. Mm -hmm. But this one, uh, the house problems are solved. Eh? Yes. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, your, your, your house problems are solved. Thank you, Jesus. Yo, there's something here. Come here. Yes. As I was saying, where's your husband? My name is Kresenshia Kribane. I'm coming from KZN, Mbumbulu, uh, under Revelation Church. The prophet told me the problem for the house is solved. So I believe. I know the Lord, he can make the way for me. I, I was working to Johannesburg for about 40, 47 years. And then in 2020, I lost my everything at a Yovel flat. Uh, someone said I must take my things to, to what to call it, to the storage. There's, there's still everything. I went back to Natal without nothing. I was empty-handed, like someone who didn't work. So now Jesus I was struggling to get a house because I, I don't have the money. So now I'm so happy. The prophet told me uh, the problem for the house is solved. So I'm here very happy. God is good. God is my wonderful. He's an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God, he never fails. Always, if you put your trust in him, always is there for you. He never fails yet. Just try and push it and be honest to God, not to go around and around. Just focus to God only. God is only one. He's the number one. This lady, there's a man who's troubling you. There's a spiritual husband that is troubling you. Yes. Come here. Come here. Look there. Oh. Come out, your spiritual husband. Come out. Oh, you did. 